displacement versus distance lab. I have a buggy and the meter stick. It's on my bag. So I'm going to do the lab over there, but can't walk. So let's ride my bike over there. Why do you do all this for me? He asked. I don't deserve it. I've never done anything for you. You have been my friend, replied Charlotte. That in itself is a tremendous thing. E.B. White, Charlotte's way. Two, one, go. Five fifty-six. Reset. Okay, start. 4.83. Alright, now I'm going to go to Ingersoll Hall to solve this problem. Now, here's what we're going to do. So, we took our measurement of how much time it took to go forwards 2 meters and back 2 meters. Obviously, there's a little inaccuracy because of uncertainty. So, here is our problem. Now, for V1, all we have to, to do is take V1 over T1. So, now, let's take out our calculator. And V1 over T1 is 2 meters over 5.56 seconds, which is equal to 2.5. I think you've been displacement 1 because velocity yes. is displacement. I'm sorry, but that was not included in the symbol here. So, let's do that. Well, technically, since we're traveling in a straight line, this uh, displacement is the same as distance, but it's okay. Let's do it this way. So, uh, 2 over 5.56 is 0.36, well, approximately 0.36 meters per second. Uh, unfortunately, you have to use the sig fig, so... Uh, okay, if I unfortunately have to use six figs, then this is just zero. Not zero. This is point four. Sorry. I'm sorry. There is one sig fig here, so I should have used one sig fig here. That was my mistake. Leading zeros are not sig figs. Okay, now that I've made that mistake, I'm not going to make that mistake again. This will simply have the same number of sig figs because... Uh, the iPhone only records up to the centisecond. So, let's see. We have 2 meters over 4.48 meter seconds, which I'm going to assume is the same thing because of sig figs. Yup, it's approximately 0.45, but since we're using sig figs, it's just 0.4. I'm sorry, this is negative 0.4. Okay, so, then... That means that we're calculating negative 0.4 meters per second. Can you update the table? Okay, so the distance traveled is obviously 4 meters. The displacement, since you return to where you were before, is 0 meters. The V1, as we calculated, is 0.4 meters per second. V2, as we calculated, is negative 0.4 meters per second. The average velocity, well, it's zero because it would be taking the average displacement over time. Well, no, the total displacement over time. But the total displacement was zero, and it doesn't quite matter what the time is. So that means the velocity, the average velocity is zero. And speed, however, is a little more informational because speed... This takes the total distance traveled, which is 4, over the total time taken, which was 5.56 plus 4.83, which is a total of 10.39. Oh, sorry. Now, I would do it the normal way, but since we're so insistent on sig figs, this is, once again, Ask, uh, right, what calculator did you use? 0.385 meters per second or rounded 0.4 meters per second. Okay, so for our DT graph... Can you update the table? So now we have E, T, and S, T. So first of all, we're going to be doing DT. And of course, here we have a mark that will 
March is 5.56, and then a little later, 10.39. Actually, it should be a little bit like this. Now, I don't actually exaggerate this part to be a little sh much shorter. So 10.39. So it's more apparent to you how the increase looks. The increase in slope. Yeah. So as you can see, this one definitely has a lesser slope than the other one. Now for speed, we can do basically the same thing. So since we're using sig figs here, I guess we're going to put 5.56, 10.39, and it's technically just 0.4 throughout the whole rod. So, and yes, I know what I'm pointing to is velocity, but since these are the segmented ones, we're only traveling in a, uh, in a straight line, they're essentially the same as speed, just size. So, that means with sig figs, we just have this big line. So, now for our displacement over time graph, we do essentially the same thing, but this latter half is pointed downwards instead. So we have 5.56, 10.39, then we have 2, and, oh, let's label our axes. And then we just have this, and then it starts going down. And then for our velocity, we actually need to draw two vertical axes. So we have our velocity over time, and via sig figs, if we're doing this with sig figs, then we have 0.4 minus 0.4. And it just alternates between these two. Let's first do the SD graph. The DT area under the curve doesn't signify that much, so we're not going to deal with that. So the area under the SD curve should signify the total distance traveled, which is about 4. 